Here we have a selection of uh, various electrical components and all of these you need to know about for the course. And what I'd like to do is just show you the circuit symbols and what stands for what. So here we have a cell or a battery. Now a cell is an individual unit, uh, just like a prison cell is, uh, or maybe the cell inside the human body is just the smallest unit. Now what we can do is we can add individual cells together and when you have a number of them together, what we have is a battery. Just like you have a battery of chickens as many chickens or a battery of artillery guns as, as a battery, uh, that's just many things together. You also need to know about a filament lamp. Now a filament lamp uh, tends to have the symbol uh, just like this. It's just a cross inside a circle. So that's uh, fairly straightforward, all GCSE so far. We also have a component called a resistor. Now a resistor um, these often have different colour bands that tell you the size of the resistor. It's, it's often quite hard to print the information you need. And if you look at this, it's like this kind of oblong on the block. So this symbol here is our resistor. So just that rectangle, which looks a bit like the resistor that we have. But there are other kinds of resistors. We have some resistors that change their value. And because they change the value, we put an arrow to show that it can increase or decrease. We also have a resistor like the one here. Now this one here, uh, basically has some sensitive strips on the top and what these do is they change the resistance uh, dependent upon the, the light intensity. So this one here, and it's circular as well, this one here is our light dependent resistor. So this light dependent resistor has rays of light that come into it uh, and that changes its resistance with uh, the light intensity. We also have a kind of resistor called a thermistor. What I have here is a negative temperature coefficient thermistor. And basically this bit at the top, when it heats up or changes temperature, the overall resistance changes. Uh, and the symbol uh, looks a bit like this kind of sort of a hockey stick or uh, something like that over the, this resistor here. And this one here is a negative temperature coefficient. And I'll talk about more of that in, in one of my later videos. We also have a thing that is basically our one-way valve. And what this does is it lets uh, the current go through in one direction but anything going the other direction is stopped. And this is what we call a diode. So the diode actually looks a bit like a resistor, but it's, it's a different component. Now there's different ways of drawing a diode. Sometimes it just looks like I've drawn here. Sometimes we put a circle around it. And there's also a kind of diode that emits light. And the ones that give out light are called the light emitting diodes. And these are big news. This one here is uh, just a, a kind of a, a thing that you can get from Ikea. And the actual LEDs, because I actually broke the top of this one, are these little orange bits down here. And these light up and give out a fantastic, fantastic amount of light. These things here are going to be the future. They're going to get a lot cheaper and uh, very soon they're going to start to replace every single other light in your house. Now you need to measure the current in bits of the circuit and this is where we can use an ammeter. This one here says A in a massive letter so you know exactly what it is. And going alongside to measure the current, we can also measure the potential difference across components. And we do that using a voltmeter. And that's pretty much it. These are the things that you need to know. And with these uh, basic uh, components, you can then start to kind of construct circuits in parallel, in series, and also these potential divider circuits, which is where it gets a bit more tricky. But you must be able to know what all of these are, identify them and draw them appropriately.